So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and I'll tell you about NIMBY by Amazement, where each player is a bee who is going out into this wild meadow of flowers in order to collect pollen. And different flowers produce different pollen that's worth different amounts of points. Whoever gets the best pollen, i.e. the most points, manages to prove themselves the queen bee's favourite and win the game. The way they do this is on their turn, they will move their movement allowance, which they can move extra by collecting honey pots that allow them to move there more or by collecting cards which is dictated by the spaces on the hive so they can move one space normally and if there's someone in front of them they can either move onto that person's space or fly over them for one movement so they in effect move two spaces if there are lots of people lined up you can fly over all of them for one movement space. There's also this queen bee who you can't share the space of. So if they're in your way, you're gonna have to fly. You don't have the choice to just walk. Eventually, after you've gone around this hive and you land on these spaces that give you things such as switching up turn order or gaining honey or gaining cards to act as honey, you'll go to the meadow and then you'll take the first card that's there unless you use honey to bypass cards. So it's very much about timing your visit to the meadow in order to get the cards that are worth the most points. Also, each round there is a special round card that's either worth a load of positive points or is worth negative points. So the fact that there's a negative one in there can create a very different dynamic when you're playing with a negative because suddenly everyone's trying to slow down and go, no, you first, you first, rather than rushing to get the high point cards. There's also some special power cards in this deck of cards here. And if you pick up one of those, you'll gain the ability. So what do I think of this game? Well, I think some of the art is absolutely lovely. Like the meadow card art is lovely. The cover art on the back of the cards is lovely. But the art is not actually very consistent in this game. The art on the board, for instance, is very different. And I think that's kind of a shame. It would have been nicer to have all the art the same and all the art very nice. The components, however, are amazing. I absolutely love these bee pools. They're just fantastic. And I hate bees and wasps and pretty much any type of insect. So for them to make me actually like <laughs> something that represents that is pretty impressive. And the queen bee as well is quite a nice little miniature, which is nice to have for what is a low price point game. So what do I think of this game? Well, it doesn't have a huge amount of depth and choices, but it's not intending to. It is intending to be a light, what often gets called beer and pretzel game. The designers and publisher, their idea was that this is a game people would sit and play at the pub while getting drunk. And so it kind of works for that. It is very simple. It's not very thinky. It's, oh no, you beat me to it. Ha, ah, I beat you to it. There is a little bit of strategy there in regards to do you choose to fly or walk? When do you choose to use honey in order to move extra? But for the most part, the game's always going to feel the same, always going to play out relatively similar. So there's not a whole lot of depth there and strategy for more experienced gamers to really get their teeth into. However, for families and people just getting into gaming, it is a very light, easily accessible game with some lovely components, so it may well appeal. With regards to scaling, there's nothing really done to help scaling in this. This is a game that works much better with more people as you get big chains of jumping along and you rush through the meadow cards and it just feels much more in fitting with the beer and pretzel theme when you have four players and you're switching positions more on the on the turn order track and things like that it makes it a more interesting game not 
interesting with regards to the choices, but just interesting with regards to them messing around with other people, getting in each other's way, and being able to kind of anticipate what people are going to do. It does not scale down very well to two players. As you go down to two players, it becomes very much a, and then I walk, and or we're just kind of leapfrogging each other. There's much less in the way of decisions there, and at the very least, the game becomes much less interesting. So that's my thoughts on NIMBY by Amazement, a light game for people who just want that kind of light experience with the bees theme and some nice components that's at a low price point. That Yeah, that's NIMBY. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing and sharing. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.